time. It's that song. I'll get another shot for it. My name is Tom Anthony, I am 21 years old, and I play for Motherland. My name is Alex Evans, 21 years old, and my band is called Motherland. Uh, my name is Gabriel Legere, I'm 20 years old, and I play in a group called Motherland. Show you guys this business card that I'm working on for the band. Cool. We were looking at this photo in. Uh, I love that photo. Yeah, and Billy was like suggesting like the colors are really nice and everything, but like it leaves it like saturation like, just to get like the, the fine lines in there. You know, like it's, it's, it is grainy, but keep the grainy texture and just get like a little bit of. It almost like it like, kind of a little bit more grainy. Yeah. You know? mm. Like just. Give it, Good it, idea. It's almost like exaggerated. Yeah. Yeah. It was taken on an iPhone. It's too high. It's too high quality for us. Photographing on an iPhone. Let's get the headlights out. Maybe we'll hit the ground. We'll drive until our eyes bug out our head. White tiger lane. Does the graffiti on the walls have any meaning to you? And I'm also going to add, when did you do the motherland? When did we allegedly do the motherland thing? <laughs> the graffiti has always been there. <laughs> yeah, it's been there for a while. Like, yeah. I mean, like, we did it, like, a, like, a year ago, and then... Allegedly. Like, allegedly, and, and then it got painted over. <laughs> um, so we did it again, and then uh, whenever we did that, I don't remember. It was it was looking cool. And they painted it over again, third time, and that, that's what you saw there. Okay, okay. So Keys and Inside Father, like I said, it is just, uh, probably then, if anything, a lot of our artistic inspiration as well it comes from the. I, I've always loved South Keys. I, I grew up in a kind of tougher suburb. Lots of South Keys around here. <laughs> yeah, and so I, I liked coming through here for the, the bus stations and. Yeah, the 
Uh, I'd say that just kind of the gross aesthetic. Yeah, gross aesthetic. The gross aesthetic. Okay, now you guys all look at me. The, uh, about the love composed plate and other various stuff around the room. Oh gosh, everything in this room has been... I, I couldn't even tell you the source of half of it, honestly. This guy would probably be a, a better source of that, but it, it, most of it comes from around the city. Like Most of the signs have been pulled either directly off of the, the posts that have collapsed already, or Tom, now there's a couple of them in junkyards. A couple of them in junkyards? Like, yeah. That one was in a junkyard. Um, the crossing ahead was in a junkyard. The no parking sign, I won't disclose where I got that. <laughs> I won't disclose where I got this either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a new one. This was in a nice, you oh. know, ugly <laughs> construction <laughs> zone. Um, we personally have, we as, as a group and as musicians in, in this era have to really focus in on uh, live performances because that is, it, the reality is that you, you don't, make any money off of recordings and you really do need to have the a level of talent to prove to people there in the moment and when it's requested of you. I think the music video is going to go well. Today, I, I gotta admit, I was excited when I first saw the space, and walking in here again, I'm seeing even more stuff, so I, I'm pumped for this, honestly. I, I think this is gonna be fun. I mean, like, I was excited this entire fucking time, so yeah. <laughs> I of the band with Thanasi as soon as we got out of high school. However, uh, he and I have been throughout all of school, and as long as we've known each other, which it, I've been as long as I've been playing bass, so it was seven, eight years. Make a band. Uh, it was in like the ninth grade. Basically, I hadn't had any like person who I had played music with before. Um, really, I mean, like I had played once in like a school performance, like in elementary school, one time. And then in high school, I meet Gabe. Yeah, we kind of like escaped the band, like the the music room at school, and just kind of jam all the time during lunch. Um, well, we met Alex through a local drum instructor named Derek DeBeer. Um, Derek came in and taught a percussion, like a, it was Polyrhythms was the name of the class. And uh, I just happened to be sitting in that day, and we knew Derek DeBeer from our previous drummer and friend in high school named uh, Patrick Williamson. And uh, conveniently, um, Patrick's teacher was Derek, and uh, we had met him briefly beforehand, so we asked him if he had any students that he would be willing to lend out to us for an audition, and uh, that's how we met Alex. Uh, hopefully it'll get us a little bit of hype, because, I mean, I think we need it. I, I think the music is good enough. Uh, I've worked at it for so long, like since I was young or whatever. I'm 21 now, so I don't know. I think it's time. It's my sweet obsession.